Hello guys, today I am going to show you how I made this stepper motor which you can set the direction to clockwise, counterclockwise and then stop and also learn about Robojack's code about this project. Let's get started. The main component of this project will be this cheap 28BYJ-48 5 volts stepper motor. Next, we need a driver to control the motor. I have this ULN2003 which is high voltage high current Darlington transistor arrays IC. Next, we need a display to display the current direction later. I have this 16 by 2 LCD display with an integrated I2C interface to make your life easier. Next, we need a microcontroller. For that, I would go for this Arduino Pro Micro as the brains of the organization, plus 4 switches which controls the direction of the motor and to reset the Pro Micro for the programming later. You can also use the traditional Arduino Uno for this project because it's also the same as the Arduino Pro Micro. And with the hardware out of the way, we can now connect them together. But since no one has time for that, and hey, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button. Thank you. After that, Let's say that you finish connecting everything according to this schematic. And now, it is time for programming. For that, I would leave a link, parts, schematic, and codes always in the video description. And after copying the code and pasting it in the Arduino IDE, let's add some codes. For the added code, I included the liquid crystal I2C library together with wire library in order to use the LCD display for later. Next in the line is the normal pin you can find in the motor driver. Next is the switches connected to pin 4, 5, and 6. Next in the line is the pole arrays. For the step values of the stepper motor, these values are very important. Here we have pole step is equal to zero, so the stepper motor will not rotate if the system is powered. And we have their status set to 3 for the push buttons. In void setup, we set the necessary begins for the LCD display. And then set the pins 1, 2, 3, 4 as outputs. And here we integrated the switch into input pull up in order to eliminate the pull up resistors in the push buttons and always set the switches high. In void loop, if switch counterclockwise pulled low, the dear status will rotate it to counterclockwise. Else, if switch clockwise pulled low, the dear status sets the rotation clockwise. And last is switch stop to obviously stops the motor from spinning. Next, if dear status pulls low and set the direction to 1, the pull step increments and set the drive stepper which is another function to pull step in increment condition next if their status pulls low and set the direction to the pull step decrements which means the rotation will rotate in opposite direction 
and last is to rotate the pole step if the drive stepper is in 7 or in 0. Now, we set a delay to 1 milliseconds in order to refresh the system very fast. The drive stepper is another function which receives an integer. We set the integer as C to control the pulse of the stepper motor which you see in the top of the lines of the code earlier. And if what the step values of the integer C, the pole will follow and execute the code. So, with the theory of the code out of the way, it is time to upload the code. For that, go to tools first and always check your board and ports in your microcontroller, which in my case, since I'm using Arduino Pro Micro, I use SparksFan bootloader in order to upload the code and set my processor to at Mega32U4 5V 16MHz. After that, upload your code. Upon uploading, hold the reset button and if your IDE said that the code was uploading, release the button and you will see the LEDs in the Arduino Pro Micro blinking and the uploading was complete. And with that, you can now control the direction of the stepper motor using push buttons. I hope that you like this video. If so, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That would be great. Thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you next time.